So, so you better get serious about Jesus Christ or he's going to throw you in the hell if you don't repent. It's very important. That's why we care about you guys. We come out here, want you to change. Do you care about the homosexuals? Of course. That's why we have this banner, to let them know. That's why we care about the Muslims and everyone else. This what do you think is the best way to get homosexuals to repent? By telling them that it's wrong and that it's wicked and that they need to wake up. Do you think this is the right way to do so? Absolutely. Why? Well, let's them know. Let's them know the truth because they've been told a lie their whole life that homosexuality is okay. You're just born this way, but God says you're born as a little baby and then you corrupted yourself. A lot of these people started watching pornography. They started masturbating, and that's why they're homosexuals today because they went down the slippery slope. So yes, don't okay, end so up like that. I disagree with that, but let's agree to disagree. With that. Yeah. Um, so let's. Um, so let's see here. If there was a better way to convince uh, these homosexuals yeah. who, who you preach are, are evil, um, or at least commit evil actions, if you would say that these homosexuals, like, how would you best make them not be homosexual? Well, that's what I'm saying, just make them aware of the reality. Deep inside, they know what they're doing is wicked and wrong, and you know that some of the things you're doing is wicked and wrong. And you know some of the things you do. Well, no, I'm living holy. I'm obeying Jesus Christ. Would you say you've never made a mistake in your life? Oh, no, I used to sin all the time, but I'm living holy. I'm not a Nazi. So, yes, and you can too. You can have a clear conscience. You can walk before God. You can love God, love your neighbor at all times. How would you feel? Would you say that, would you say that because... How would you feel? Okay, so, can you remember? In, uh, I can't remember exactly the story, but when Jesus Christ was um, attending like a, um, a uh, I would think that here, but uh, he, he said something like, um, "You have not sinned." Yeah, cast stones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we're not. I'm not out here casting stones. I'm out here just trying to have a conversation with people. Let them know. That's how you let people know. You share your views. That's what you know. That's what they do at the presidential presidents do now. They let their views know now. So, this is what God thinks. We're not saying this is what God thinks of you guys. This is what God says. Okay. I believe you in our own body. Or smoke, our own body tells us that it's wrong. You know, we start coughing, we start throwing up. When we lie, you know, our our body, you know, our heart rate speeds up. Our own body tells us that sin is wrong. So no, no. you know, and that, that's why we get a guilty conscience. When we do something wrong, we get a guilty conscience. So our... God says no sin. Well, is wrong. with a guilty conscience, wouldn't that also the creation of a guilty conscience would be like a failsafe to prevent the inevitable, which is to sin. When I felt liberated. Humans have a Jesus Christ never sinned. Jesus Christ never sinned. Holy God, he, he chose never to sin. But he Jesus was God himself as well. Yes, but he, you know, had flesh just like you and me who walked the face of the earth. Yes, yes but he also, he also chose to help those that have sinned. Yes, and how do you help them? By telling them the truth. And that's what we're actually doing today, telling you guys the truth. Do you think the that hard truth. 